had the worst time falling asleep last night and then forget about staying asleep because my sleep anxiety and I just broke my ponytail. Okay, well that's how my morning is going. Where is it at now? Not even gonna mess with that. Just got a bigger one. We're not even gonna mess with that today. Okay, so here is the thing. I signed up for a 5K in October and it's like the end of October. Super fun. It's gonna be a costume run. I have some ideas what I wanna make, like potentially crochet accessory wise. I don't run that often and if I do, or like when I do, it's very sporadically, just whenever I'm feeling like it. Nothing very consistent. I work out like Pilates, kickboxing. I have my rower. I do a lot of yoga and stuff like that, but like running. So I thought it was gonna be fine last week. I ran four days out of the entire week. Very excited. It was like, oh, this is really fun. It's kind of nice out. There were some rainy days, but then literally Friday night, last night, just my legs would not stop. Obviously needed to stretch more. Something was going on anyways. So I just had to get up pretty early for me right now, but I'm like, I need to stretch. I need to probably do something other than running yoga. I really should do some yoga today. But now I'm on a schedule because I want, I know it's all the way in October and we are just the first week of June here. So I have plenty of time. I wanna stay on the schedule because I want it to be a fun run. I don't want to, I don't want it to be terrible. So I gotta stay on this. So yeah, we're gonna pull out the roller, do a lot of stretching. One thing that has been super enjoyable for me though is I've been listening to my audiobooks as I'm running. I find that I can run a lot longer. I want to stay out too. So I'm gonna finish up. I don't even remember what it is. I'm just all over the place today. I, I have a podcast that I'm listening to and then I have a science fiction like podcast series. I don't even know what the monsters are honestly. Like maybe vampires or a variation of that. Anyways, I'm, yeah, my legs are like, hey, let's freaking go. Let's do some stretching here. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. And then we're gonna continue on with the day. She always acts like she's so excited and happy to see me back, really surprised. Like, holy cow, you did that. You're my biggest fan, aren't you? When really it's just she knows that I get the mats out and this little rolly thing, she loves this. I don't know, just something fun to play around with. Oh, it was a lot hotter out than I thought it was gonna be. I don't really know what I thought actually because yeah, of course it's what, 74 degrees out? We might have to stop over at Join Fabrics for a little bit. I've been seeing a few more videos pop out of more Halloween home decor. Not that I'm not including the witchy line that they dropped as Halloween, because it does say it on there. Here, like, let's go to their app. I really like all the silver snakes that they have. But I'm talking like actual pumpkins, some spooky ghosts, and also any of their baking supplies. I love just going down that section. Some of my all-time favorite baking supplies I got from Joanne Fabrics like last year. So I'm seeing a couple of hand towels at two locations near me. I don't look too far, but like normally if it's on here and it says not just like pick up in store, but it actually has the number quantity that they have in store, it's a pretty good indication that they have it. So yeah, we're gonna go check that out. I'm gonna take a shower first. I know that I have my makeup on and everything, but I wasn't expecting to run this morning. I normally like to do that at the end of the day. This was just an exception. It had to be done, but I do feel a lot better. My leg does not feel so tight anymore. I stretched for about, I don't even know, 25 to 30 minutes after coming back, but it was well needed.
All right, Joanne Fabrics, they have a couple more lines out. Basically one full aisle, just the one side of it, and two end caps. When I turned the corner and saw that there was a bunch of pieces that had that little like plastic bit, a like, little button on it, normally when I click that it lights up. So I clicked a couple of them at the same time and they all started making noise, just like the loudest noise. You see it light up for two seconds and then me shutting it off. It's not because there was something wrong with it. It. I just it was very loud and there was people around me like why why would you do that? Why click all of them at the same time? I thought it was lights. Okay, I'm so sorry had I known it was loud <laughs> I probably wouldn't have clicked any of them. But I love the ghost with the green, the slimy green eyes. That one was super cute. The boo sign, very classic trick or treat. Love that as well. Oh, the pumpkin. Okay, so I am still thinking about these. They didn't have a thing to push to see it light up, but you could see on the inside that there are like a little bit of fairy lights in there. And then the bottom, just go ahead and put a battery and they'll light up. But it's just this classic orange glass pumpkin pumpkin on a little pedestal. It just, there's so many things that I could do with that for my trick-or-treat theme in my house. I don't know where, like we're doing trick-or-treat in the yarn dungeon at this moment, but it's never gonna go away. I just love everything about it. So those, that was a piece that I'm, I'm leaning towards. Also, the skeleton sewing machine. This might be the year that I add that to my collection since I'm really getting into sewing again. And there's a lot of pieces that I've already started for home decor. It would be cool if it lit up, but it's not like loud or anything. It's just gonna be a statement piece. There was a little section for ornaments. We don't normally see a ton of ornaments, so this honestly might be all that they'll have out. My favorite was probably the tiny mouse with a little trick-or-treat bag. I'm thinking it's because it was like felted and looked super soft and cozy. Loved the Hocus Pocus though and the classic spider. The spider would look really good in a wreath. Speaking of that, I need to decide what I'm gonna do for, I have three wreaths that I normally make every year or like wreaths remake the ones that I have. Really need to finalize the theme that I'm gonna go with. Probably trick or treat from one of them, let's be real honest right now. But the witchy vibe, that's a big contender. Saw a few more pieces for the witchy line as well. And then the hand towels. So my goal this year is to make my own hand towels, either crochet, sew them, use my Cricut. Like I have a lot of ideas for that, but that cat with a little witchy hat on it, it almost got me. Pretty excited to see more of their trick-or-treat line come out, especially with those pumpkins. I'm wondering if they're gonna have anything that kind of matches. I mean, it already kind of is, because with the witchy section that they had out, they had the pumpkin that was purple and had lights on the inside. So maybe they'll have another color of the pumpkin. Speaking of purple, we need to talk about Furl's Crochet for a second. Friday, they announced that they had a brand new hook for their Zodiac line. This is a line that has been going on for years, honestly. They have just been slow announcing it here and there because like I'm a Pisces and I want to say that came out in 2020 2021 I guess I can look it up here it says like its birth date on here which is fantastic joined the Furls family March 2021 the latest edition is the Zodiac Cancer I know that I'm a little bit biased because I just love Furls crochet hooks and anytime they drop a new one I'm just very excited but I think they did a really good job with it the variation from hook to hook that's what I like to see instead of having every single one of them in every single size be exactly the same. I like that you never know what you're gonna get. So I ordered the I think 5.5. It's either a 5 or a 5.5 because I know that I'm gonna use it often. Okay I really hope that I get this one. We have the really cool swirling blue with the white and then the purple is almost see-through on top. But just because they show it in this picture as the four millimeter crochet hook, if I were to order that one, it probably wouldn't look the same. How many of the Zodiacs do they have out? Oh, they have a spot for the Zodiac collection. 10. Oh, we're getting a lot closer than I thought we were. Cancer season is June 21st to July 22nd, which is why I was a little surprised when I saw it on their site because I was like, hold on, we just got into June. It's like June 1st. First, with some of the hooks in the past, they had been releasing it during that signs season. I'm not complaining though. It's been a while since we've seen a new hook. 
dreamy, translucent cobalt base with vibrant fuchsia and white swirls. Let me grab a couple of them, actually. Really need to do some organization of not only my hooks, but also my yarn. I have like two giant tubs that I've just been putting either projects that I'm not finishing or ends of yarn that I need to cake up, but that's not happening today. We're not doing that. I have a couple of movies ready to go after this and then I'm gonna work on a project. So we're gonna relax for the evening. Okay, what are you? Leo. This one is really cool in that it's all kind of the see-through yellow. The swirl comes through really, really well. It doesn't matter the variation of it. Here's the Gemini Twins, 5.5 and a 15. Normally, this time of year, I have most of my 15 millimeter crochet hooks put away just because I don't use them a lot for projects. However, I do have a blanket going for this one. There's a ton of the glitter at the bottom of this one. It's really pretty when I crochet outside with it too. Next, what do we have, Pisces? Yeah, I have two of them right here, 4.5 and a seven. Since this one is like a solid blue, the variation in them is quite vast. Some of them have a lot of white swirl to it, while others you can hardly see the swirl at all. Like these, you can see it right on the end pretty well. Otherwise, it just looks like solid blue. Not good, not bad, just pointing it out. Hello, Virgo. Look at that green swirl. Again, 5.5. It looks almost yellow on the bottom. Do I have any of the Sagittarius? I know I do, but like where? Capricorn. This was another pretty one with some gold glitter all throughout it. Taurus. I have you actually. No, nope, that's, there we go. Six millimeter. Oh, that's surprising. I thought I was just gonna have all 5.5 millimeter hooks to show you. I like the swirl on here. Again, the variation, love it. Aries, more of a darker red. I have um, some of their cherry hooks. Those ones are sadly discontinued, but the Aries, still a good red, and I like to use these whenever there's a Friday the 13th. It's kind of fun and festive. The Sagittarius is like a poppy purple, and the glitter that's in there, it's like confetti since it's all different colors. Lastly, we have the Aquarius. I like this blue a lot. And this entire line, the swirls, oh my gosh, when it's lined up, because I have one of their display cases, you can't fit all of them in anymore because it was designed for the four to the 10 millimeter. But when you have them all in there and you can see the swirls just going through, it's stunning. I don't really know what else to say about that. I'm never gonna shut up about this ghost shrug. <laughs> I knew I was gonna love it as soon as I started adding on all the little ghosts to it because it's so freaking cute, but it's become like my morning ritual now. I wake up, wrap myself in this, make a giant cup of coffee. The crochet creativity, it just starts flowing. I don't know, maybe it's my lucky shrug now. The one thing I was thinking about this morning and really last night too was what am I gonna do with the rave yarn from Julian Fabrics? I made a top from it when I was just kind of playing around with the yarn, but I'm not in love with it yet. But it's like a it's like a roving yarn almost. It says to use a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. I don't love it with that size. It kind of squishes it down, doesn't let it breathe as much, but this one's called Seam Queen. It deserves to have multiple projects here in the yarn dungeon. So I was really thinking about it last night, kept going to wearables. I was like, maybe a sweater, which I probably will do later. I'm just not feeling that. Like on my knitting machine, I think this would work well on it. Then I thought, okay, what about a C2C project? Even if I did multiple squares, cause like C2C projects sometimes when I get going, um, if you've never made them, it's a, it's corner to corner crocheting. So you start at like one corner and it's really, really tiny and it like builds and builds and builds, gets halfway and then you decrease on the other half. Once I get to that middle part and start decreasing in a blanket, it's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> Cause it can get pretty long how blankets are sometimes. But I was thinking maybe if I do squares and then use this and the electric slime kind of alternate the squares. So that way I'm not in the middle of 600 squares. That's a lot, I wouldn't do that. Even like a king size blanket. I don't even know if it would have that many squares in one row, but probably a hundred, maybe a hundred and 
nine-ish is probably, you know, that's doable for a twin or a queen size. And when I make blankets, I like them to be big. Like I want to be covered in a cozy blanket. Anyways, so got up, made my coffee. I've been playing around with this. Look how freaking gorgeous that is. Yes, this is what I'm going with. It's going to showcase the color so perfectly. How many rows am I in? I don't know. I'm not even going to count. This was just the rest of the one skein of yarn that I had that I used in order to make the top. So I'm interested to see how far I get with a whole cake of yarn. This is the last one that I have too. So if I love this, I'm gonna have to put an order in for more. It's basically all but gone from the shelves too. We loved it, we stocked up. We weren't messing around, that's for sure. The electric slime, I do have a little more of that. Not enough to make a blanket. It's going really fast though. So I'm thinking this might be it. Like this is this is what I'm gonna do. Also, if I don't change the color, it's gonna be a very mindless type of project to do at the end of the night. Not that I need another blanket because I already have one going, but I'm just kind of tired of that one. I don't know, it's just, I haven't really been wanting to work it up, which is weird for me because I really like that yarn. I think it was just, it was too big. I committed to it and now I'm just, I've fallen out of love with it. So I'm gonna just put that one away for right now. I had it like sitting right here. It's the green blanket. You probably have seen it in so many of the chit chats that we've had. It was just hopeful thinking that someday I would wanna come back to it, but I don't know, it might not be happening. And honestly, I think taking a break from it, that might help a little bit too. Cause when I'm tired of a project, especially a blanket, every time I pull it out, I'm like, well, I have to work on it cause I started it now. Not a great way to go about it. And at the end, I wouldn't even be happy with it. Cause I'd be like, this was miserable to make. And here we are. So I'll probably just gift it away because I don't even want to look at it anymore. <laughs> like I don't want that to happen. I kind of wish that I would have had two full cakes before I started this. Like I'm not undoing this now, but just to see the gradient of how it continued instead of starting in the middle of one. I mean, obviously I'm going to see it now, but it's like restarting this spot right here when it really should be finishing up the black and then going back into this little bit and then into the pink. I don't know. It doesn't matter though. I was going to use up what I had anyways. And if I do squares, then it can be portable. Not that I can't take a blanket with me when I travel places, but it's not that easy. And also it's just like, okay, sorry, I need to take up an entire seat in the car. No one else can sit there. It has my bag and then also half of a blanket. Like it's not super great to travel with. We'll see though. I might just get going on this and not want to stop and take the time to switch off colors. I don't want to commit to a twin size at this moment. I think it's, that's just too big and I'm going to fall out of love with it which is hard to say right now because I'm like, no, I'm not going to because I love this color of yarn. I love the feel, the texture. Yeah, but that's how the other one was. And here we are, 50 by 60 inches. I think that's all I'm going to commit to right now. This is turning out exactly the way that I wanted it to. In my head, I thought it was going to be really cool. And now that I see it in person, actually made this a reality. This blanket is going to be so freaking amazing. The size is going to end up being a little bit smaller than 50 by 60. It's going to be more like 48 by 58-ish. I only went to row 14 and then cut it off there. I don't know. I just liked that a lot better. And the fact that it's going to go a little bit quicker too. I am going to alternate between the colors too. This is also my last cake of the electric slime. Three across widthwise and four squares lengthwise yeah so it's not gonna be a huge blanket and throw but this is what I'm gonna do for the day we're gonna have a slow Sunday yeah, I'm not moving from here I do need to get more coffee but apart from that I'm just gonna chill out here I have a couple of new movies that I got so I shop on the whatnot app for a bunch of my movies because they have like thrifted movies over there too unsane is she or isn't she I have no idea it just says from the director of Contagion and Side Effects. And I have seen both of those. So this was just kind of a blind buy. It looks more like a thriller suspense type of, definitely not campy at all. 
a little bit more serious drama. It might be nice background noise too. The Prodigy, I don't know. I've been told by a lot of people that I need to watch this. I ended up bundling both of these together for $3. Cheaper than I could get it to rent, so even if I don't like it. Art pounding suspense meets unimaginable horror in this haunted thriller. There we go. That will keep you on the edge of your seats. Okay. Maybe we'll start with this one. I was most interested in this. An hour and 39 minutes, 92 minutes. Let's do the longer one first. Finish it up with the short one. Although, I mean, it's the beginning of the day. So I will probably end up watching quite a few more of these. Although I, this is it. This is all I have. That's as far as I can get on this project. Unless I want to unravel my crochet t-shirt that I made with this. You know what? I'll think about it when I get there. In total, I have three completed squares and like almost a fully finished square. Completely obsessed with how this electric slime yarn is turning out. Some of them, obviously every square is going to look different, but like it has a perfect line through it. And this is the matching one over here. I just so happy that I did the C to C stitch for it. That is all of the electric slime yarn. That's why I haven't finished this yet. And now I have to do the task of pulling this all apart. It does look amazing on the back with the gradient, but I very much so like it more. This is a, what is it? Double crochet? Half double crochet? Double crochet. I like the other stitch much better. So I'm gonna have to do all of that. And I just don't really want to right now. <laughs> Like I just don't have the energy. Also with like laying all four of them out together, let me show you that. It's gonna be a decent sized throw. I'm not gonna go any bigger. We're gonna leave it with four and then, what did I say? Four crossed and three up, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Four one way, three the other way. Or maybe I should just do four and four and make it a perfectly square throw. I'll figure everything out tomorrow, maybe. I don't really know what else I have on my agenda, actually. I think I need to do a Joanne pickup or 100 Nights to Halloween countdown. Yes, I do need to get uh, like the last bit of the yarn so I can finish that project. Okay, so I don't think this project is actually gonna get work done tomorrow. Maybe when I have my coffee in the morning. So I'll just leave the unfinished square out at least. Everything else I'm gonna put away for this moment because I know if I leave it out, like the entire project, then I'm gonna get distracted from the other ones that I should be working on. And this was just a for fun type of project today. I don't need to spend extra time on it if I don't have that time. I'm officially gonna go to bed now, so thanks for hanging out with me today. Cheers, I'll see you in my next video.